Applied Behavior Analysis, also known as ABA, has transformed the way psychologists understand and improve human lives. What started as experimental research manipulating reinforcers in Skinner boxes is now a leading scientific framework applied in classrooms, therapy rooms, and beyond. But how did ABA make the leap to widespread practice? This video will take you on the behavior analytic journey from ABA's roots in basic experimental psychology to its emergence as the applied science we know today. We'll explore pivotal moments like early applications to challenging behaviors and seminal papers that established ABA's identity. By the end, you'll appreciate how far ABA has come from its beginnings to developing evidence-based interventions that support people in meaningful ways. Its evolution demonstrates the power of behavioral science to create positive change. The purpose of this video is to explore the development of applied behavior analysis from its origins in experimental psychology to its current establishment as a scientific framework for understanding and changing behavior through applied research and methodological advancements. Applied behavior analysis, which I will refer to as ABA throughout this video, has become a widely accepted scientific framework for understanding behavior and designing effective intervention. However, ABA was not always the established method it is today. Throughout this video, I will explore how ABA evolved from its experimental psychology roots to becoming the scientific framework it has developed into. According to Cooper, Heron, and Heward, the foundations of ABA can be traced back to the experimental analysis of behavior developed by B.F. Skinner and other experimental psychologists in the early 20th century. Inspired by Ivan Pavlov's classical conditioning experiments, Skinner conducted seminal research demonstrating how environmental contingencies of reinforcement and punishment could shape operant behaviors. He coined the term operant conditioning to describe voluntary behaviors that are strengthened or weakened based on their consequences. Bayer, Wolf, and Risley 1968 wrote that through meticulous experiments in his operant chambers, Skinner elucidated basic principles of behavior that became the core of ABA, such as reinforcement, extinction, stimulus control, and generalization. It wasn't until the late 1950s and early 1960s where Skinner and his colleagues began exploring applications of operant principles to human behavior. Researchers like Lindsley applied these experimental findings to issues like education. Around the same time, other psychologists were independently using reinforcement principles to change behaviors like self-injury and stereotypy in individuals with intellectual disabilities. These initial applications demonstrated the potential of behavior analysis to understand and improve human behavior. However, the field still lacked a cohesive framework and methodology at the time. It was not until the late 1960s that applied behavior analysis solidified as a distinct discipline. In a seminal 1968 paper, Bayer, Wolf, and Risley outlined seven dimensions that distinguished ABA from other approaches, including its emphasis on applied research, behavioral definition of target behaviors, use of measurement, demonstration of functional relationships, generality of behavior change, and technological importance. This paper helped establish ABA's identity as an applied science based on experimental analysis of behavior. It also catalyzed the growth of behavior analysis programs and professional organizations focused specifically on applications like the Association for Behavior Analysis International, also known as ABAI. Over decades, ABA researchers refined methods for conducting applied research and interventions. Early work helped establish concepts like functional behavior assessment, the three-term contingency, and reinforcement-based treatment packages that remain central to ABA today. Researchers also develop methods for systematically manipulating antecedents and consequences to change behaviors in clinical, educational, and other applied settings. Advancements in single-case experimental design strengthened ABA's scientific rigor and ability to demonstrate treatment effectiveness. Major reviews summarized and disseminated the rapidly expanding ABA literature, cementing its status as an evidence-based framework. In conclusion, Applied behavior analysis has experienced tremendous growth and advancement since its early experimental foundations. Through meticulous applied research and methodological refinements over decades, ABA has demonstrated its effectiveness and established itself as the dominant framework for understanding behavior change. Today, ABA principles and methods are used widely in fields like education, autism treatment, organizational management, and more. Challenging behaviors that once seemed untreatable can now often be improved 
through functional assessment and evidence-based interventions. Although continued research is still needed, the established scientific status and real-world impact of ABA conveys how far the field has come. Its evolution stands as a model for how meticulous experimental analysis can transform into an applied science capable of enhancing lives on a large scale. My name is Troy, everyone. If you liked today's video, please smash that like button, subscribe to help the channel, and turn on notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss a video.